Friday evening after work. I had a string in my mouth because I ate a pea. Uh, <laughs> peas and collards. Yes, some of my thing too. A little russet and then one red potato plant. That's one. Red. And then them were something that was in a bag we had at a kitchen. We bought it at Walmart or something, Food City. And she planted them because they'd sprout it. And you know, for store, actual grocery store bought that ain't bad. I didn't think so. But yeah, that's one plant. That's the collards. There's some peas. There's still basically ones growing. And more collars to grow. She was working on that. And my loving wife. <laughs> See this hill? This plant? That's the one she dug. She put it back. Me, I took one off the end right here. Now all I done was grab the plant and pulled it up. And we got one plant and one mess of potatoes. Maybe two. I've been working on this. She loves her water tank and her hoses. Yeah, I bought her a new water wand and yeah. I brought this out, a lot of shell in it and rock to build up below the barn gate. But I dug all this out past couple nights after work. I've been working on this off and on. Wife wants to come steal some dust. Yeah, for the chickens. You guessed it. I've been filling in and digging out and filling in. Y'all, it's been dry. That's moisture. It's some good stuff. Holding moisture. I like it. That's why I leave grass around my plants in my garden. See what it does for you. Got me crazy. But I filled in from about, I don't know, right here, out tonight in a lift. And I'm going to go over flat so far and then slope it down toward where it stuff's at and have it to where, you know, I can mow it up and down with the tractor or weed eat anyway. But I got grapevine. So my wife's getting ready to shut me down on the grapevine. Well, looky there. Blackberries mixed with seed pods. The grapevine has shut me down because, oh, where is it? Over here. This one is starting to make. So hopefully. That one, and there's a bunch more in here. Right there, there's a good one. Get you up there. All kinds under here. Those are your grapes coming. It's like almost 9 o'clock on Friday night. Come straight in from work. Come up here and start at this. So, yeah. And all this, that's got to be burnt. I'm hoping they're coming for a chance of rain, but it didn't hit in time tonight. They're coming for scattered tomorrow. So we'll see. She's backing in potatoes. Afraid I missed one. That's what it is. Or digging some more. But yeah. Been digging this. This over here comes out pretty easy. And I've been taking like this stuff. 
the tree and the roots and putting on the burn pile. But I got in here and all kinds of grapevine, berries. And all I'm doing is digging. Oh, if I can get up here. I'm kind of tired tonight. There's a ditch right here. So I'm coming out of it right now. For now. No, that ain't the end of it. And just coming right up and around. And gonna kind of feather out and down. Slope it. Gotta leave this tree to wife once it left. It's a magnolia. So all this is gonna be cut out in order to get to the walnuts. Hopefully that'll be soon. Next month or two, I can get that done. But it's a slow go. Cause I like some. This was a farm back in the 1800s up until like the 50s. And then the trees have got them blocked. There's houses all down through there. Lucky me. But it's what I could get. It's uh, 31 plus or minus acres i think yeah i got two houses on it lord has blessed me but making some more flat up here because i have plans future plans and all with that little tractor and backhoe and even that little tractor oh benny can't get out the gate or the fence but I bought her this spray head, and she's just thrilled with it. And got some more of this cut off. Need to cut some more. Clean up the rest of this. Dig some more, did you? Yeah, because I put them back in the dirt. Put what back in the dirt? Oh, I cut my damn thumb. Hey, watch your mouth. Put what back in the dirt? The place you pulled up because they're not dead. I felt bad. They had to go back in the dirt. <laughs> she don't realize they're dead now. But she cut her thumb. She drove that up. I drove that up. Like I said, I come straight from work. But, look at these beans, y'all. This is what I'm talking about. What? Yeah, so it's up front. Okay. Look at these beans. Peas, she's been harvesting. Already. The beans have took over down here, but there's peas in this little section too. Sweet taters are running, vining. All the cabbage is coming on. Look at how these four are heading up. This one's starting to head up. This one's starting to head up. That one's got a little bitty head. And this one's starting to make a head, so that's good. The collards. Carrots. She planted some more spinach and got some going to seed. Look at these squash. Look at the bloom. Down in there. Even the watermelons come on after we put the hay in here. And I know somebody's going to see that video and think I was crazy for this, but hey, it works. Garlic's planted here. Peppers, romas. Little roma. Pumpkin. 
and Kushaws. So we'll see what they do. The rabbits get a lower. Can't do nothing with them. Tomatoes are going to need staked. Onions. And then purple potatoes. I've already told you I burnt the corn up. That was my bad. Little apple tree. If it's two little apples. One there. One there. But yeah. This has always been my favorite place on the property. It's up in here. I mean, not just here. But like back over in there. I got a nice kind of a, it's not flat, but it's not steep. Big flat of poplars and my side's oaks and then the rest of it's poplars. But I've always loved it up here. Little apple. Oh, it's missing one. Oh, nope, there it is. This is their first year, so I'm making apples. I gotta do some pruning when time comes. But yeah, this is sweet, sweet, and sweet. And then I think, yeah, and two rows of peaches and cream, which these down here are doing good. These up here aren't. But we'll see what they do. Still early. The fence has been working great to keep a deer out. I did have a casualty of a turtle got into it over in the far corner and I didn't know it and he got got by the fence. So that was a little heartbreaking. I didn't want that to happen but and then the rabbits get a good jolt out of it. And bugs runs, runs, runs. Oh, I hear something. Blinky. The fence is on, y'all, and it's getting dark. Camera might not, well, the phone ain't showing it be dark, but it's getting dark. Got half a tank of water. Got a tank and a half for the barn. Got half a tank of the chickens, so should be good on water. Going after four round bales of hay tomorrow. Because we're finally starting to get caught up on everything. We get the grass has not been mowed. This makes second week. Because, y'all, it's been dry. It's been in the 90s. And even this green stuff is crunchy under my feet. So, I can handle saggy-looking yard. I can't handle a dead yard. But, yeah, this is what I've been up to digging out. It's slow go, but when that's your uh, main piece of equipment... Small equipment, slow go. But we might be working on something for that. Don't know yet. Uh, truck is still waiting on parts. Not all of them have come in. Not all of them has been ordered. Ain't took the time. Hay season hit. Uh, garden, gardening and just keeping this place straight. Uh, maybe a surprise coming in a week or, well, maybe this weekend, maybe next weekend. I don't know yet. Or it may be in three weeks. Huh, depends on when I go. But maybe some uh, new additions coming to the farm. And... Yeah, that's about it for tonight. Might do a little travel filming.
tomorrow because we do have to go get feed at the feed mill. Yes, I buy from the feed mill. Oh, there's a rabbit. And zoom up here, see if we can see it. He's down in there somewhere. Yeah. I'm shaky because I ain't ate. I ain't felt the best in the world until this evening after it cooled off. I seen him around that. Oh, that may be him right there. I can't tell. Them little buggers. Yeah, they ain't scared of nothing. They almost run over top of you. Yep, that was him. He's right down there. But anyway, y'all. I'll see you on the next one, I hope. Till then, God bless. Be safe. Watch out for each other. Take care of each other, because nobody else is going to do it. I guarantee it. Look out for uh, the elderly, especially if all this heat. And little kids playing outside. They get heated up quick. Trust me. We've been out in it. and Well, as you can see... That's my normal summertime color. <laughs> so, y'all, have a good one.